Hello my friends, um, today is going to be another skincare crash course like the exfoliation video if you watched that. Today I am going to be talking about scars, sunspots, age spots, and melasma. If you follow me on Instagram or have been watching my Instagram story, I did this last week or two weeks ago, I can't remember, it's been a while now, but I did this on my story so a lot of this is going to be the same stuff but I'm going to go a bit more in depth than I did previously because obviously I'm able to but it's still gonna be a pretty short video gonna be a crash course like I said like I said like I said <laughs> so let's get started okay so first off um, just flat-out statement that is the honest truth scars sunspots age spots uh, I won't say melasma because that's not true, but the other three, those never totally go away. Those are always something that you're going to have on your face in some form or another. Um, the good part, the good thing, is that you can make them basically invisible to the human eye. You can get rid of them enough most of the time that basically no person can see them or just a little bit of cover-up will take it away. So. That's the good part, but it can be hard, especially when they are long-term, like some scars in particular places of your face. If you get acne there a lot and a lot over and over again, like I have a spot over here that I can never completely get rid of the scar because there's so much scar tissue built up there. And then some things like sunspots and age spots, there will be so much, um, well, melanin growth and because of so much UV radiation over time that you can't totally get rid of them. So that's just kind of a statement flat out, um, just for everyone to be aware of, because I think that's an important thing to go into treatments like this with realistic expectations and not be thinking like, oh, okay, all my problems are gonna go away after this. It's good to be realistic about how things don't totally go away. Um, so just be aware of that. Also, before I dive right into scars. I'm sorry if the sound isn't quite as good quality as my other videos. I'm experimenting with my phone, uh, phone, headphones, headphone, microphone, <laughs> um, because, and I'm sure if you've watched my other videos you've noticed, sometimes the audio gets off when I use, because I use my phone camera and I used, connected to my laptop, I do a voice memo with a separate microphone, um, and so the sound quality was good, but for whatever reason, it would always get off sync. Even if I had them completely lined up at the beginning, if I skipped to the end of the, the video, it would be out of sync. So if you know a solution to that, please tell me, because I cannot for the life of me figure out why it would do that. Either the video or the microphone, like the, the audio recording, is like speeding up a little bit, and I don't get it. So. Anyway, moving on, so scars. First of all, scars are, I'm pretty much only going to be talking about acne scars. There are lots of different uh, kinds of scars that you will have, like obviously if you get cut or if you have surgery or anything like that, you'll have scars from that, but I'm going to be particularly talking about acne scars, not that they're any different. It's still just a place where a wound has healed. Um, but uh, acne scars are sometimes a little bit easier to get rid of because typically that wound is very surface level. So that's a good thing. Um, two of the things that help get rid of acne scars are exfoliation. And you can go back and watch my exfoliation talk. Um, basically the idea that you get those skin cells to turn over again and again and again and again and again and eventually that scar tissue will be almost totally gone. And then vitamin C, which can be a form of exfoliation, will also really help with this because vitamin C is a, like a natural pigment lightener. Um, just think about when you take, I don't know if anybody else has done this, you take lemon juice and like spray it in your hair and then go out into the sun during the summer, your hair will naturally lighten up a little bit. So it, it's very similar because of the acids I think in it, it naturally lightens some of the pigments on your face. So acne scars are definitely the easiest thing on this list to get rid of, though you may not be able to get rid of them completely, like I said, but they are definitely the easiest uh, as long as you follow proper procedures, take care of your skin also, 
Um, and that's the second part of it is you have to prepare in advance. And I'm gonna, for each thing I'm talking about today, I'm gonna talk about ways to prevent them. And with acne scars, sometimes there's no way to prevent it. Sometimes you are just going to get a really bad patch of blemishes that are going to leave a scar no matter what you do. But for the most part, the best way to prevent it is don't mess with your blemishes, don't mess with your acne. Try and leave it alone, treat it, but try and leave it alone, don't, don't, do anything with it. Sorry, I don't like talking about acne, but don't, you know, I'm not Dr. Pimple Popper. Don't pop it. Don't do anything. Just try and leave it alone. Try and keep your hands off and hopefully that will create less scar tissue in the future. Okay, so second thing I'm talking about is sunspots. So sunspots are a result of an intake, usually too much of an intake of UV light and um, that co cr makes your body create more melanin and so you'll get these random spots on your face that are just a little bit darker than the rest of your complexion because I don't know why our bodies work that way but it will just randomly create different pockets of melanin as opposed to making your whole face darker but that is tanning so obviously when we tan our skin is responding to the UV lights it's not just our skin frying up, but it's our skin responding to the UV light and creating more melanin, and that's why we get darker. That's also freckles. Freckles are technically sunspots. Freckles, that's why they come out more in the summer and why they're darker in the summer. It's because they are technically sunspots and you're probably spending more time in the sun. But sunspots are almost always going to be, especially those big ones, because you are overexposing yourself to UV radiation, and that's never, never a good thing. Uh, the way that you can treat these, you can treat minor sunspots with vitamin C, um, not really exfoliation, but vitamin C because it is a natural pigment lightener, um, like I was saying a minute ago, but typically for sunspots, especially really, really uh, harsh sunspots that have been there a while and then just keep getting worse and worse and worse, you're going to need some kind of skin uh, pigment lightener. Um, the only one that I found that has been really, really good without being too uh, harsh on the skin is the Murad Pigment Lightening something. If you search Murad Pigment Lightening, you'll find it. It is a little bit pricier, but it's the only thing that I've ever found that works without hurting your face, basically, because you're basically bleaching your skin. Um, but that does help a whole lot when it comes to sunspots. When it comes to prevention, wear sunscreen. Don't go out into the sun and have absolutely nothing on because you want to get a good tan. I love tanning as much as the next person. I like getting a glow, but I use self-tanner because I don't want to A, get sunspots, but B, I don't want to get skin cancer. That's how you get skin cancer is skin cancer is a result of that UV exposure and your body producing too much melanin and that's how you get skin cancer. So you have to be so, so careful about that. Additionally, too much sun exposure without proper protection like SPF, um, that will result in you wrinkling prematurely. So that's also a reason why you should not just go out into the sun expecting to get tan immediately because you're probably going to, you might get tan, but you're also going to get sunspots and wrinkles and maybe something even worse. So that's the best way to prevent it, obviously. So next I'm going to talk about age spots. So the difference between sunspots and age spots, they're very, very similar. Age spots are still a melanin production due to UV radiation. Uh, but the difference here is that age spots are not exactly totally preventable. Typically just because you've lived on the earth a certain amount of time and you haven't been underneath a rock, you will get some age spots at some point just because you go outside and that's okay that happens whereas sunspots tend to be a result of overexposing yourself to UV lights age spots will just happen and uh, pretty much the only way to get rid of age spots because they typically are so intense and they are due to years and years of UV light um, is a skin pigment lightener a vitamin C will typically not do anything for that so you will need a skin pigment lightener, but a lot of times it will help, though they don't usually go completely away. Um, when it comes to preventing age spots, you can't totally uh, prevent them. Some people are more susceptible to getting them than others, and I don't really know the science behind that, but it just happens some people will get them earlier. 
Um, and they will simply just be age spots. They won't necessarily be sun spots, you know, that you're getting from overexposure. It just happens. But you can still prevent them from being really bad by wearing sunscreen. Excuse me by wearing sunscreen like you would for preventing sunspots and it prevents a whole lot of other things like we just talked about okay and then finally melasma so melasma is uh it's dark spots and you can get them all over your body but especially on your face um that are a result of pregnancy hormones so when a woman gets pregnant she will typically get a few dark spots and sometimes they go away after you have the baby sometimes they go away once those pregnancy hormones or maybe not after, right after you have the baby but after some of those pregnancy hormones have calmed down and they will just like disappear but a lot of times they will stay there forever <laughs> they can last like your whole life long even though your you know your body isn't producing those same hormones anymore so these are identical to age spots in the sense that you really, really can't lighten them through exfoliation or through vitamin C. They have to be lightened through a um, skin pigment lightener. They have to be essentially bleached because there's really nothing else you can do about them because they're a result of hormones as opposed to something exterior. So, um, age spots and melasma you treat the same melasma obviously you can't do anything about if you get it you get it if you don't congratulations lucky you um the one thing about melasma that is kind of helpful in a preventatory way is if you're pregnant as soon as you kind of start see it coming on in an area you can go ahead and start treating it then and that'll help because if you start treating it after it's stopped darkening on your face then it makes it a little harder, it makes the process a little bit longer. So that's kind of something that you can do, but um, typically it's not really avoidable. You just have to watch out for it and know how to treat it like this. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I hope this was educational and I hope you learned a little bit more about how to treat and prevent some of our least favorite things that pop up on our face. Um, I'm so serious about sunscreen. Wear sunscreen and so many of your problems will go away in the future. Um, and it's just so much better for you. I think I'm going to actually, at some point, do a talk, crash course, <laughs> whatever we want to call it, on um, self-tanner. Because I've used a lot of self-tanners <laughs> over the years. And I feel like I, I know which ones I like versus which ones I hate versus which one will be best for different kinds of people. So I'll do a talk about that. And that, hopefully that will encourage people to stop tanning because tanning is bad for you. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're safe and healthy and happy, and I will see you next time. Bye, my friends.